Let's see how we can apply joins in SQL. So in SQL, we have two tables, sales table and customer table. So first, let's apply inner join. So let's try by applying the inner join. So with inner join, only the common records will be shown in the final result set. So first, we will select all the records. Select star from our table one, that is sales table. Then we will use inner join and the next table, that's the table two called customer table. And then we will we will set the join condition. Sales table dot customer ID is equal to customer table dot customer ID. So these two customer IDs are common condition common column present in both the tables and that will be used as a join condition so if we select these we should get two rows why because in sales table we have only two customer ids one and two and in customer id we have four ids but since we are applying the inner join we will only see two rows that are matching rows. Let's select the statement of inner join and execute. You can see we got only two rows because only two customer IDs were mapped to the sales table. So the next is the left join. So in the left join, all the rows from the table one will be shown, and the matching rows from the table two would be shown. What that means is, since we have only two rows in the sales table, that will be our table one. So left join will display all the rows from the sales table, and the matching rows from the customer table will be added to the result set. So in our case, the left join and inner join result would be the same because we only have two rows in the table one. Here you can see we got only two rows. So the next is the right join. In the right join, all the rows from the table two would be displayed and the matching rows from the table one. So in our case, since we have four or five records in the customer table, we will see four or five rows with the matching rows from the sales table and the leftover rows will be set as null. So let's try to execute. Here you can see we have four rows in our customer table, but we only have the matching two rows in sales table. The leftover rows would be set as null. The final one is the full outer join. So with full outer join, we will see all the rows from the table one as well as from table two. Whether we are having a matching rows or not, it doesn't care. We will see all the records from both tables. Let's try to execute. Here you can see we got the full data set of both tables, table one and the matching rows as well as not matching rows are set as now. So this is how we apply joins in SQL. Thank you.